Good evening, everyone. Here is Geraldo Lemos Neto from Belo Horizonte, Brazil. I'm here with Marco Gandra at the Portal Saber Espiritismo. We are transmitting the program to Know Spiritism number 17. Today, we are going to uh, continue to study the law of destruction and the planetary transition. This is a live program for the ESN, Discovery Spiritism Network, Spiritism Dissemination, and also Kardec Radio. You are all very welcome. Let's see what the work of Alan Kardec tells us about the exile. It is uh, taught at his last book, The Genesis, Miracles and Predictions According to Spiritism. The last chapter, the chapter 18, is the, uh, the time has come, signs of the times. And uh, the subtitle is the new generation. We are going to analyze today the items 30, 31, and 32 of this chapter 18, the new generation. Uh, as we can see in the item 30, Alan Kardec tells us, we are witnessing this transformation, the conflict that results from the struggle of the opposing ideas that seek to be implanted. Some march with the flag of the past, others with the flag of the future. And this is very, uh, we can see that this is happening nowadays. We are leaving those times. As Alan Kardec is telling us, we are witnessing this conflict of ideas. The, the past generation that is being surpassed by the new generation and of course, they have opposing ideas. And some still march with the flag of the past, the values of the past, and the other ones are marching with the flag of the future. And we shall hope that we all spiritists uh, embrace the flag of the future. And Alan Kardec continues to tell us, at the intermediate point where the forces counterbalance and once the limit is crossed, the new path will be tra traversed with greater speed as the amount of circumstances help overcome all obstacles. Thus is the transformation of humanity. He's telling us that in some point of the, the human history, and I believe so, it's nowadays because we just finished the 50 years dateline that Chico Xavier told us about, the period of time, the 50 years period of time that after that time, we would enter in a very uh, good uh, and speed development of the humanity in all matters, development in science, in astronomy, in uh, medical knowledge, in spirituality, in arts, in all fields of human knowledge and this is this would be happening as Chico Xavier told myself after July 20th of this year 2019 so that before that time the ones that march with the flag of the the, the past, of the values of the past, would be uh, 
they they would be the majority before of that after the dateline uh the majority would be f f of the people that look forward look to the future and this is the intermediate point that Alan Kardec is telling us about we are just in this intermediate point and also Alan Kardec tells us that without emigration that is without the departure of the laggard spirits who should not return or who should only return after improvement humanity would not remain indefinitely stationary because the later spirits evolved too but it would take centuries and perhaps thousands of years to reach the result that a half a century would be enough to realize and uh, Kardec is telling us that uh, we should understand that the exile is very important, is a, is a tool that the divine providence utilizes to to give humanity a boost, because they uh, they the laggard spirits are being departed from the earth from the shadows and the dark plans of the spiritual world and they are being taken away uh, they are being taken away to a primitive world where they would embrace another chapter of the, their evolution and as they depart as they are being exiled from earth a new generation of spirits that come from higher plans and are more suited to be in a regenerative planet and have the responsibility to work for the regeneration here on earth they are being born Chico Xavier told myself in that the date line that this would uh, happen in in a, uh, in a very strong way would be the year 2000. He told me that before the year 2000, many spirits uh, that were born here on Earth, all over the planet, they would probably come from uh, the more dark and uh, the, uh, the plans of the shadows but after the year 2000 uh, Jesus our Lord Jesus Christ stated a, a, a law or, or a divine uh, orientation that after that, that same year of 2000 those spirits would not be allowed to incarnate on earth so that spirits from, from higher plans not only from other planets uh, more regenerative planets but from other plans would in, instead be born please Gander take, take a step back here and yeah, here, because of this emigration, we are most certain that the transition will happen because uh, Earth is being cleaned of the bad influences and of uh, the not so good influences from the laggard spirits. If the, this kind of emigration or exile didn't did not happen or or don't happen if this uh, if God just let would let earth evolve Alan Kardec is saying to us that 
every every spirit evolve in every life but the path would be very slowly and maybe it it would take centuries and perhaps thousands of years so to to us reach the point of a regeneration planet and here i point a very uh, neat thing because alan kardec is saying that half a century will be enough to accomplish this uh, transformation and half a century is of course 50 years and here we can see that Kardec alludes to a very special term of the 50 years in the future that later was mentioned by Chico Xavier himself about the dateline that initiated on July 20th, 1969, when humanity sent the first humans to step on the, on the moon. So this is very interesting. The next uh, item is the item 31. And Alain Kardec is still uh, working in his thoughts and ideas to teach us about this process of exile and also the substitution of spirits and the coming of the new generation. He says, a common comparison will make it even better to understand that is going on under these circumstances. Suppose a regiment composed largely of turbulent and unruly men, which will incur unrest constantly, which the severity of the penal law will often have difficulty repressing. These men are the most powerful because they are the most number, numerous. They, they support, back up and encourage, encourage themselves by example. Some good people have no influence over them, for their device is despised and they suffer from this contact for being ridiculed and mistreated. Isn't that the image of today's society? Look how profound and also prophetic is this saying of Alain Kardec. He is comparing the earth and the transition time for earth and the process of exile and substitution of spirits and the, the coming of the new generation. He is comparing this with the regiment, a regiment composed first with bad people, turbulent people, unruly men, and they are the majority, and they have the power, they have the influence, and they support, back up themselves, and uh, even the penal law, even the justice system cannot uh, stop them to do wrong things. And even the, the good ones that are living among them, they don't have any kind of influence because they are the minority and they are also perse persecuted and also they are despised and ridiculed and mistreated. So this is the, the picture of the time where the, the laggard spirits, the bad uh, behavior dominates, right? Then th those spirits are, are slowly being replaced they, by death, by cataclysms, by mass uh, discarnation, uh, diseases and wars, revolutions, no matter what, all kinds of uh, 
flagels. And in this case, they they discriminate and they are, will be replaced for uh, spirits for from a higher plan, right? In in one time, they will counterbalance the both both groups, the laggard ones and the new generation. They will be counterbalancing themselves. And the new generation starts to influence the path of development in all kinds of uh, spheres in the human society. Science, philosophy, religion, no matter what, the new generation starts to influence the results, uh, the, the path of the history and happenings around every society on earth. Alan Kardec uh, continues to explain. Suppose now that these men are removed from the regiment, one by one, by the tens, hundreds, and gradually replaced by an equal number of good soldiers including those who have been expelled but transformed. So those bad men, unruly men, they will be removed, they will be replaced. And even though those ones that have been expelled from the, the regiment, they can, after death, in the, the, the spiritual world, uh, re restart their their situation, rethink their feelings and and thoughts, and uh, try to make make up all the the time that they 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 didn't live uh, conform the good life, so they can. Be back, be back again in a better situation. And Lan Kardec say, says, including those who have been expelled but transformed. So they can be reincarnated he, incarnating here on Earth again in a different objective, in a different focus. The focus of the future. After a, a while, Kardec says, it will be the same regiment, but completely transformed. The good order succeed the disorder. So will be the regenerate humanity. So in a point of time, the, the good order will supplant it, will be uh, will overcome and will be the majority all over the laggard spirits. And this process uh, stops or uh, will give us the opportunity to uh, live in a world where the good order succeed the disorder. Now, in the item 32, Kardec tells us, great collective emigrations are not only intended to promote exits, but also to transform the minds of the population faster, freeing them from bad influences and giving superiority to new ideas. So that's the result of this process of exile, substitution of spirits, and the arriving, the coming of the new generation, the higher spirits that are being reincarnating here on Earth since the year 2000. And this is the main objective of the great collective emigrations. 
they are not only intended to clean earth from those spirits that are being deported or, or they, that are being exiled in a primitive world, but also to free the human population of their bad influence and also from the, the ones that are here they that that they are they're not necessarily good but they are not also uh, intended to be good but in a point where they don't receive the bad influences of the bad spirits they can feel freed from these influences of the evil and the new ideas would be received on them also and after a time the new ideas would be in a superior stage of influence all over earth then Kardec tells us because many are ripe for this transformation despite their imperfections they depart in order to strengthen themselves from a pure source if they remained in the same environment under the same influences they would persist in the same opinions and in the way of seeing things a season in the spiritual world or realm is enough to open their eyes because they because there they see what they could not see on earth in this case the unbeliever the fanatic and the author authoritarian can thus return to earth with innate ideas of faith tolerance and freedom this is so neat to to read uh, how the, the, how forgiving is god and the higher spirits in the name of jesus because uh, lankerdeck is is illustrating this because many of those that are being uh, you know departing from the crest the earth crest by by discarnation by death not all of them are being exiled from earth not all of them are departing forcefully from earth especially those ones the Alan Kardec say, says that in this case the unbeliever the ones that don't have any kind of faith the ones that are mostly materialistic also the fanatic in all all ways uh, fanatic in politics in religions and in, uh, in ideas no matter what just because you know they think in this way and they don't want to change their thoughts and also the authoritarians the ones that rule cities uh, states countries institutions universities or enterprises uh, administration in the public sector no matter what they 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 are living their lives in an authoritarian way but want those ones the unbeliever the fanatic and the authoritarian once they disconnect they go after that to the spiritual world and they depart to an, a different environment they can be taught they can be enlightened and after knowing new things in this new environment they can 
change their way of living, their way of thinking. And in that way, they can stay on earth and be born again in this 21st century. And they can be born with innate ideas of faith, of tolerance and freedom. This is very neat. It's a second chance for those kinds of people. And in in a way, the death is a process of uh, free themselves from their own ideas or their own stubborn ideas. And this is this transformation is also happening. Despite their imperfections, they depart in order to strengthen themselves from a pure source. And now uh, we can see that Kardec concludes stating, in their return they will perceive the changed things and experience the influence of the new environment in which they will be born. Instead of opposing new ideas, they will be its helpers. This is fantastic. It's a second chance for them, and also it's a very good chance of the success of the rede regeneration here on Earth. Because instead of opposing the new ideas, they can incarnate again, reincarnate, and start to work in favor of the, ide the new ideas, the ideas of the future. And this is a very uh, neat way that we can understand this process of transformation that we all call the transitory uh, time, the transition time here on Earth that is leaving the uh, condition of trials and uh, bad influences uh, and start a new era, the era of the regeneration. I'd like to thank you all for being with us tonight. Uh, we are going to continue to study uh, this chapter of the last book of Alan Kardec, The Genesis Miracles and Predictions According to Spiritism, chapter 18, about the new generation, and hopefully we can conclude it next Wednesday. As I told you, uh, you can share this program. Uh, you can see it on Kardec Radio, on the DSN Network, Discovery Spiritism Network, and also you can see it on dissemination, Spiritism Dissemination. Thank you all, and have you all a good night.